How you doing guys? So uh I'm on my way to the gym but I wanted this to be like a car video. I wanted to talk about uh some people thinking that conviction is required before salvation. And I saw a video that just made me, you know, draw had me think about this for a while and um People have different ideas on conviction and what that is. Uh, some people say you must feel convicted by the Holy Spirit of your sin. Now, my the way I came to the gospel was I wanted to be saved. That was my understanding. I wanted to be saved from going to hell. And... You know, I've watched Truth Time Radio's videos. I, you know, I learned how to be saved from his videos, and I found out it was very simply just believe the gospel, you'll be saved, which I did. Uh, fully trusted what Christ did on the cross for me. But some people, how they come, their their definition of conviction or whatever, is they wanted forgiveness of their sins. So they choose to believe the gospel because they believe they will get forgiveness of sins by believing the gospel. See, that's not salvation. You're not going to be saved. If you if that is your if how how you came to the gospel was, well, I only wanted to believe the gospel so I could get forgiveness of my sins so I could then be saved. You're not saved. You that conviction whatever that was, I mean, you you believed in vain. It's, what you did, your your belief in just the gospel so you can get forgiveness of sins is, is in vain. You didn't get saved. But that's how some people look at it. See, when I looked at the gospel, and I, I looked at um, I looked at 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 through 4. I looked at Ephesians 1 verse 7. Uh, Colossians 2 verse 14. When I understood uh, Acts 26 verse 18. When I understood that my sins were forgiven at the cross through Christ's blood, I no longer had a conviction moment. Like, I wasn't... This is like in order, is what I'm saying. I understood, of course, I was a sinner. But the point is, I once I learned my sins were forgiven at the cross through Christ's shed blood, in my mind, it was settled. In my mind, it was done. I didn't have to worry about the sin issue any longer. You know, I looked at 2 Corinthians 5, verse 19. Understanding God stopped charging my sins there at the cross. Once I saw it that way, this conviction that a lot of these teachers talk about, what they're telling you is, you, they're telling you to feel conviction for your sin. But that's wrong. Why should you feel conviction of your sin? Is my question. Why should you feel that way? Because when you look at the gospel, you should see what Christ did on the cross with your sin. You should just understood what, what did he do on the cross with your sin. Okay, well, Ephesians 1, 7, and when we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. Okay, so you should understand that at the cross, it was right there at the cross through Christ's blood, you were forgiven of sins. All right, what else he do? He took a payment for your sins. He died. He took a death for your sins. Wages of sin is death. He took a death for your sins. He's buried and rose again the third day. So when I see YouTube videos or hear pastors talking about you should feel convicted of your sin, what they're talking about is you should feel guilty for the sins that you commit. So you should seek God for forgiveness. See, you won't be saved with that type of mindset. If you're in your mind still thinking, I need to seek after God to get forgiveness of sins, you'll never be saved. Because you're not seeing it as it's done. You're not seeing it as you already have forgiveness of sins. You're still seeing it as something, a process that needs to happen. Something that has not happened yet, but I need to do something in order for that to happen. See, you'll, you'll never be saved. So, the conviction thing... You need to do this. A person that wants to be saved, right? In your frame of mind, you should want to not go to hell, right? How do I avoid going to hell? And that was mostly my 
being drawn to salvation was it was through some people trying to say oh uh, sin sends you to hell type thing I, I was set on that path but once I saw that my sins were forgiven at the cross through Christ's blood that was no longer the issue in my mind but I was still seeking okay I understand Christ forgave my sins but what do I do now to be saved simple believe that Christ what what he did on the cross for your sins he forgave your sins he died on the cross for your sins he forgave your sins through his blood he died on the cross for your sins, buried and rose again the third day. Really believe the gospel. Just thinking in your mind that, okay, for example, let's say this. If I just said I believe Christ forgave me of my sins through his, through his blood there at the cross, but I don't believe he died for my sins or, or was buried and rose again the third day, I wouldn't be saved. You see what I'm saying? Every component of the gospel must be believed. You can't believe Christ died for your sins, was buried, and never resurrected. You see what I'm saying? You can't do that. The entire gospel must be believed. You must believe all of it. He died for my sins and buried and rose again the third day. The people that hate the blood aspect of what I'm talking about when I say you were forgiven at the cross through Christ shed blood, they hate this. They really do. They hate that because they don't believe it, first of all. But believing that your sins were forgiven at the cross through Christ's blood, you understanding that is you understanding the gospel. You understood what happened there at the cross. Ephesians 1 7 is not a process that happens later or individual for, for it's not something that happens individually it is something that happened there at the cross so again of course I understand that my sins were forgiven at the cross through Christ shed blood that, that happened at the cross why would I have only an understanding that he died for my sins was buried and rose again the third day but have no understanding that my sins were forgiven and that's what's missing with most people. They only understand that Christ died for their sins, was buried, and rose again the third day, but they don't know what it means. So because they don't know what it means, in their mind, they're still seeking ways to get forgiveness of sins. They don't understand that Ephesians 1-7 has already explained their sins have been forgiven. They, they have forgiveness right there at the cross of Christ's blood. That's where their sins were forgiven. They don't understand that aspect. They don't see that. All they see is, all right, he died for my sins, was buried, and rose again the third day. But how do I get forgiveness of sins? Okay, I must get it by believing this. Yeah, that'll give me forgiveness of sins. Okay, I must get it when I ask. Yeah, yeah, I'll get forgiveness of sins when I do that. Okay, I must get forgiveness of sins when I help homeless people. This is, a, this is still a lost person. Anyone thinking that way, that's still a lost person. Now, again, elements of the, the grace community or any any people that call themselves Christians, whatever they are, uh, they, they hate that because they'll say, well, I don't believe my sins are forgiven at the cross through Christ's blood, but I know I'm still saved. Well, they're not. They're just delusional. They think they are. No, you must fully believe what Christ actually completed for you. What did he complete? Your forgiveness there at the cross. He forgave you of your sins through his blood. You got forgiveness of sins right there. That's complete. You're not waiting to get it. You already have it. So again, going back to the conviction issue, why would somebody, why would they want to be saved? Think about it that way. Why would you want to be saved? To avoid hellfire, right? Isn't that the obvious thing? We all wanted to avoid hell. Now the pastor has told you the reason you're going to hell is for sin. But that is not the truth. That, that is not the case. People are going to go to hell because they have not believed what Christ did on the cross with their sin. They have not actually believed that. So, you have to understand that you need to, again, it goes back to the finished cross where you need to understand what Christ did on the cross with your sins. He gave your sins through his blood there at the cross. Ephesians 1 verse 7. Died on the cross for your sins, was buried, and rose again the third day. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 19. He has not been counting your sins, the world's sins, since then. You need to understand, believe and understand that. You need to understand it's all finished right now. In your mind, 
if you're still coming to if you're still wanting salvation from your sin or you, you're still seeking after forgiveness of your from your sins you have proven with your very testimony coming out your mouth that you do not understand the gospel you've proven you have not actually believed the finished cross work because you can't believe the finished cross work while at the same time you honestly have no understanding of it you can't believe something and not understand it at the same time so you a person coming to salvation you must look at it like this I don't want to go to hell now again the pastor has incorrectly told you your reason you're going to go to hell is because you haven't got forgiveness of sins no that's wrong I'm telling you the reason any unsaved person is listening to me right now any person that doesn't know what the gospel is you don't even know what that is your reason for going to hell why you're going to go to hell is because you have not trusted what Christ did on the cross for you. You have not trusted the gospel. That is why you're going to go to hell. Now, in yourself, you're hearing what I'm saying right now. You should want to avoid hellfire, right? You're like, okay, I haven't believed the gospel, Brandon, but I do want to know the gospel so I can believe it, so I can avoid hellfire. That's what you should be doing. What is the gospel, Brandon? Christ died for our sins, was buried, and rose again the third day. Do you believe that? Yes, I accept that as the truth. Then you're saved. But you can't say, well, I accept it as the truth, but what happened to my sins? That's not salvation. You, you're not saved then. You can't say, I believe that, Brandon, but um, I, I, I still want to figure out how can I can be how can I be forgiven of my sins? That's somebody that's not saved. That's somebody that has heard the gospel but is not saved. They know the gospel, but is not saved. Again, Ephesians 1 verse 7 just confirms that you understand what where you were forgiven of your sins. It, it's a I look at that verse as a confirmation verse. It lets me know my sins were forgiven through Christ's blood there at the cross. So it should be no question in your mind. If you're still questioning where you're forgiven of sins at, you're unsaved. You're someone that has not, you have not understood the gospel. You have not believed the gospel. But pastors are actually trying to say that is not required. You don't have to. They're really basically saying you don't have to believe the gospel. That's essentially what they're saying. You don't have to accept, I don't know, that Christ actually did everything with your sin, you know, did away with your sin. That, that you don't have to accept that. See, that's sick. That's devilish. That's completely sata satanic. You see what I'm saying? I mean, no, you have to actually understand what Christ did on the cross with your sins. You have to understand he he did everything at the cross. He, it's all done. Your sins were forgiven through his blood at the cross. Died your forgiveness is right there. He died on the cross for your sins, buried and rose again the third day. He hasn't been charged in sin since the cross. It's it's done. That should be in your mind. That should, which should be what you're understanding. If you're still feeling convicted of your sin today, you need to remind yourself, what did Christ do with my sins? Okay, he put my sin on Jesus Christ's body. Right? Jesus Christ bled while he was there on the cross. There's your forgiveness of sins. He died with my sins on his body, on his flesh. He died. So he took my sins to the grave. He was buried. And he resurrected out of that grave on the third day without your sins. So why should you feel convicted of your sins when you have no sins? That's what I'm saying. You have no longer any sins, any charges of any sins. He hasn't been charging sin since the cross. This is something that people reject. It's right there in the Bible, 2 Corinthians 5, verse 19, but they reject that. All right, guys, I wanted to be very short. Have a great day, and I will try to get back to doing the whiteboard. I've just been very rushed these last couple of days, so I've been putting out uh, smaller videos. All right, though, guys, have a great day.